Hey, welcome back everybody. She's one of the greatest golfers to ever play the game and certainly the greatest women's golfer. And recently, Annika Sorenstam paid a visit to the island, serving as an ambassador for the game. At the age of 43, World Golf Hall of Famer Annika Sorenstam would likely still find her name perched atop the leaderboard if she chose to keep playing. But five years removed from competitive golf, her focus isn't on winning championships anymore, but rather promoting the game she loves. When I stepped away, I said, you know what, I feel um, a little responsibility to, to make this golf game a little better than when I picked it up. And if I can do anything to, to enhance that or get more exposure or introduce the game to some young ones or inspire somebody to play the game, I said, that's really what I want to do. With nearly 90 global titles, including 10 major championships to her credit, the soft-spoken Swede has nothing more to prove on the course. Her focus now is simply to get others to follow in her footsteps. You know, we all know that the game of golf, unfortunately, is declining around the world. Maybe it's more, more numbers in certain places than others, but uh, because it's tougher to play nowadays, so we're just trying to make it fun, make it easier, and, and uh, you know, I actually love doing that. That desire to make the game of golf more family-friendly recently brought Annika and her own family back to the islands. As global ambassador for Pacific Links International, the queen of golf recently reigned supreme over family night at the Kapolei Golf Club. Not only spending time with her own family, but conducting a clinic for hundreds of young golfers and their families. It was a very successful evening, and I think those are the things you need to see at golf clubs uh, around the world. And I mean, a lot of clubs nowadays are struggling with memberships, and they're struggling to get families involved. And because I think, you know, our lives are changing. We don't have as much time to be on the golf course. Nobody has five, six hours to spend uh, on a weekend without their family. So now you have to make the club, the location for the families to join and hang out together. So it's either family nights or maybe a pool in the area or maybe it's, you know, playing three holes together or just junior clinics, you name it. But you need to bring in the family because it's really important. Stand by, here we come. In and even three, though her primary role two, these days one. is to promote the game for the next generation, she's quick to offer one very important piece of advice for those who do hope to play professionally one day. Don't rush it. It's a hard game, it really is. And uh, you know, when I grew up, I had a chance to play all kinds of sports and eventually it was golf that stood out and then, then it became just natural for me to play golf and I really didn't have to test any other. So yeah, take your time build a strong foundation, really feel, you know, be solid when you join the tour because it's hard, you know, it's very competitive and be away and travel, all that stuff, it's, uh, it's tough. So I always tell them just enjoy it and things will come if you're ready. And now with more time to reflect on her own amazing career, even Annika admits she has a difficult time grasping all the success she's enjoyed. I am uh, very fortunate and I'm very lucky and, you know, but at times I, have to pinch myself and say, hey, did this really happen? I mean, I was a professional for 17 years, so I guess I had the time to achieve a few things, but yeah, I, I am amazed at times. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm honored and, you know, back in my career and I, I smile. I don't know how I did it. I don't know if I could do it again, but, uh, you know, when you look back at your career, that's sometimes a time that you really get a chance to smell the roses because when you're living it and doing it, things happen so quickly and, it's hard to reflect and maybe appreciate and, and enjoy it as much. And for those who wonder if Annika might ever tee it up again competitively, she says, don't hold your breath. No, I don't have any plans. I mean, I, I'm very lucky and happy where I am today with my life, with my family and the businesses. And I look at the, the players today, they're, they're younger and it seems like I'm getting older. So <laughs> why don't I share, you know, the passion and, and my experiences with them rather than go out there and try to do it again. Monica, of course, has her clinic. It's on the other side of the country, in Florida. But who knows, maybe one day she'll have one here.